I wanted to give you a quick uh, overview on uh, what I know about the candidates from last year and this year for my job fair. Um, on this. Um, so the job fair is now running for uh, two years almost, and it's part of my online user group. Um, which, by the way, you can join a uh, fantastic group. Um, but the job fair is out two years, as I already mentioned. Uh, we had it four times last year, and this time it's like it's five times. Um, you can join and look this up under the URL I posted here. And um, that how it looked in the in 2021. While we changed to Hubido, it looks a bit different, but it's the same concept. So you have a table as an employer where you sit, and candidates can come by and hop on the table and take the conversation. Um, and hence find out if you know if they want to work for you or not. Um, also, I have a form where folks are able to share their CV and resumes, and they are able to create a mini profile and just selecting what they're interested in or what their what their interest or what their knowledge in C is, right? And so this is a form. And from this form, we do get some interesting data because when every candidate fills this out, I can aggregate this data and hence show you the, the what what is what most candidates are bringing to the table, right? Um, so these are the chosen skills for 2021 in total. Uh, you see, uh, C plus C11 is the most popular, which is true for all events, by the way. Um, Linux, C plus plus 14, object orientation, modern C plus plus, and C plus plus 17 is the top six. I say the top six because this stays true when I compare the first event with the numbers in total from 2021. And if I zoom in a bit, um, you can see that C17 on the left is more than it is on the right. So on the right is 2021. First event in 2022, we had more folks interested in, or not interested in, no, thinking they know enough about C17 that they were bold enough to make that check mark on C17 for their interviewer to see. Um, and then the rest of the things I don't have time to, to, to you know spend on this, but this is like rather interesting graphs if you want to look at that. Um, I also ask, as you saw, for like field of work and which field have you worked? And I want to mention this is heavily influenced by the companies coming because if I have not a single company from the gaming industry showing up, game developers are not gonna show up because they don't want to work for finance. And the other way around, probably too soon. Uh, finance, if I have finance companies showing up, um, I have more people coming from finance. Always, it's very popular to have worked in desktop because you know everyone has done some widgets or something with cute WX widgets, Windows, MFC. You know, this is a lot of things. Um, embedded is also popular. Uh, other is always very popular. And I I kind of try to to add other things to make it less popular, but it seems also to be uh, that people just like to click on other to to cover some other fields which they have worked in. Um, and then there's the yeah, server is popular, of course, because C++ is important for performance, automotive, telecommunication, mobile, gaming, I already mentioned aerospace, cloud, AI, HPC, audio and robotics. Um, this is experience in years, uh, going from zero to 33 in this graph, data from 2021 again. So you see, we attract a big, broad spectrum of developers, more developers, which are, interested in joining the industry and are junior and are on their way to senior and then there are some seniors and then there is also still a good range like a third of them probably being uh, beyond senior really well seasoned professionals which uh, you know is usually what the industry is looking for right um and I still have 50 seconds. I just want to thank you. Uh, I would have more graphs of course to show you but I only have five minutes and I don't want to too, too much to you in, in terms of graphs. Um, I'm always looking for employers to join, okay? So I'm trying to really make this an industry thing. Um, so if you're at the fair, you're also listed in this form for half a year. It's kind of a measure to make sure that we have uh, not like a fair where only one or two companies are showing up and then they just, you know, get this, this week of the fair. So you always get the half a year when you attend and that is um, the main value. And if you have a lot of, uh, companies coming to the fair that attracts more candidates. So um, reach out to me if you want to talk about this. Thank you very much. And I am done.